Danke, Mario. Aber die Prinzessin ist in ein anderes Schloss. Capitalist Center Forum, UT's premier student film showcase. Tonight we're gonna see UFA's spring film consensus. UFA, University Filmmakers Alliance, is a film club on campus that encourages students to get out there and get films made. And when they pool their talent, you get a film like the one that you're about to watch. And since the film you're about to watch is pretty deep and stuff, we're gonna spend the night talking about the theory and history of film. If you're smart enough to understand. But first, let's watch the film. The entirety of which points to a much larger theme, that of Nietzsche's critique of liberalism. And we'll connect those dots after spring break. For next class, be sure to read the rest of Zarathustra. And in response to three particular emails, I will not be having office hours during spring break. All right, that's all. Have a great break. Professor, you have a minute? Break. Yes, Tom. I uh, was wondering if you had a chance to get my email. What about justice, but more no, about... No, I haven't had time to read that one, Tom. Oh. Okay, because I think I really clarified my whole argument, brought it into focus as this sort of... Tom, I really think you're spending too much time on this class. Maybe you should work on something else, like maybe exercise? Exercise? Have a good break, Tom. Wait, Professor! I always, I always bring the pizza rolls. Tom, what's going on? Uh, I think the door might have locked in on us. Really? Yeah, see, just like I... You gotta be kidding me. So, what, we're locked in? I don't know. Yep. Beautiful. We're locked in this room for the entire spring break. We're gonna miss the meeting. Meeting? Smooth. Guys, what meeting? Philosophy club. It's weird. I didn't get an email. You guys are kicking me out? <laughs> You're kicking me out of philosophy club? It wasn't our decision, Tom. <sighs> okay. I see. You guys found a replacement historian yet? Well, Carl was really good. Carl? That jerk Carl has zero understanding of just war theory. He spills crumbs everywhere and he doesn't know anything about Foucault. Don't talk about Foucault. Listen! You are ruining Philosophy Club. What's done is done. Get over it. Fine. Fine. Fine! I... I hear you guys loud and clear. If you guys won't let the club phone ruin, then that's just gonna be your call. I hate that we have to show a commercial. It is so bourgeois. We will regrettably be right back. Welcome back to Capito Senate Forum. You know, consensus reminds me a lot Butterfly slash snowflakes. Totally. That is like Maria Orlando's magnum opus. She is such an auteur. Wait, 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 wait. What's an auteur? Don't be pedestrian. The word auteur comes from the auteur theory. The theory that the director is the true author of his films. Oh, that's that's a thing they came up with in the 60s, right? The French New Wave, right? 
Yeah, they were inspired by directors who had total control over their movies. Especially Alfred Hitchcock. I mean, he controlled every aspect of his film, from art design to cinematography. You know, Maria Orlando is totally the new Hitchcock. I mean, Butterfly slash Snowflakes? That's like the new Psycho. Instead of, you know, murder, it's just pictures of butterflies. Yeah. Alright, well let's get back to the show before the man brings us down. Definitely. Fight the power! Enjoy your meeting, you nasty, brutish... Oh, hey! Professor Stahl's sandwich. Uh, well, that's great, let's put it into thirds. Wait, wait, wait. Tom found it. It's Tom's sandwich. No, it is not Tom's sandwich, it's Professor Stottle's sandwich. Guys, we're, we're in this room together. Any food we have, we need to split between us. No, no, Stottle gave up the right to the sandwich when he left it behind. Tom found it. It's Tom's now. You know what? Johnny has a really strong argument. This is my property now. And in terms of biopower, like Foucault was Don't said, talk about Foucault! We're all in this together! Split the goddamn sandwich! But we can't lose track of our, our individual survival. Strong argument. Shut up, Johnny! Empathy. Empathy is a vital part of the human experience. No. No. You, you can't just say no, I made a viable argument! Don't you dare. Mm. Oh, you asshole! No. He's just protecting his interests. It's his human right. It's not a human right, it's a goddamn sandwich! You just want to feel. This isn't going to be enough for us all to survive off an entire week. What do you say? I'm saying we're going to need more food. Well, I'm saying... See two perfectly good meals in front of you. You can't be serious. Look! Think logically. We're going to be here for over a week. If we don't get any food, we're going to starve within days. I mean, like I was saying earlier, think back to... Biopower. Don't, Don't talk, talk about, about Foucault! Foucault. Alright. Alright. But think back to Professor Stottle's Hobbes lecture. If murder is the only way to survive, then the murder is only following the laws of nature. I... <clears throat> I... I guess you have a point. Wait, you're with him? Well, I just... It's the only viable position, Johnny. And according to the laws of nature... Remember, it was on the exam last week. Oh, but, but listen to yourselves. Cannibalism? It happens all the time in nature. And nature is exactly where we are right now. Okay. You win. Look. I just want you guys to know that... A sandwich. Oh, this is really embarrassing. I think I might have eaten it. I was only gone ten minutes. Oh, that was deep. I feel like I feel like I need to show this to all my mainstream friends. Definitely. We'll be right back with Capital Cinema. Welcome back to Capital Center Forum. 
UT's student film show. Hey, have you checked out a Sanskrit of the heart yet? Uh, I've been meaning to. Isn't that like adaptation of Moby Dick starring David Bowie's cat? Oh, no, 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 This is Julia Roberts' biopic set in the 1800s. Jane Smith plays Julia Roberts. It's done in this Cinema Verite style documentary. Cinema Verite? Yeah, it's this old way of uh, making documentaries. The filmmaker tries to remain uninvolved, so instead of music and interviews, you get raw footage of real life. Man, you're pretty smart. That's pretty hot. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, my heart belongs to Fassbender. Let's get back to the show. Man, I was pissed off my glasses ago. <laughs> he hit a buddy me in the oh, face, and I swung yeah. my head, and they just yeah, flew yeah. off, and then he was just like, Goodbye, glasses. <laughs> so, my name is Edward O. Woodliff. Uh, I wrote Consensus. I also assist and directed it. High five. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm Andre. I play the lead role in Consensus. I'm Alex, and I was uh, assistant camera. It was like one of the first times, well it wasn't the first time because it was directed to other things that I've written, but it was one of the first times where I wrote something and then a huge team of people interpreted it instead of, of me just doing it on my own. And it was a cool experience to have, to have all these people pitching in time for the story you came up with. Um, <laughs> I mean essentially I was just juggling different ideas and um, I wanted to sort of play with very broad concepts in political philosophy but not really go like in depth. Just kind of use that as a backdrop for a story that was kind of absurd and, and really funny and maybe like a little bit shocking. So that was, that was really my intent, which is to write something really funny and something that would be enjoyable. Well, truth be told, I mean, the thing is uh, with the UFO project in general, like I always wanted to have a kind of a heavy influence on them. Because I mean, before this project, I had already directed two of the prior, wait, yeah, two of the prior ones. And I just was really busy that semester with other school works that came in kind of late. I came in, Edward's pitch had already run, the director was already picked, so I was like, oh, what am I going to do, you yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, I'll just audition for it, you know what I mean? Like, I really doubt I'm going to get it, but I'll just do it. And this was the first project that I think I had, like, legitimate, like, lead acting role, which I'd never had before, because, like I said, I was just, like, always behind the camera. And I was like, you know what, I, I can do this acting thing, and it's, like, just different, but it's fun. Yeah. I really like it, so... You know, if I want to get involved in any kind of film project, I can just be behind the camera and be totally cool with it, or be in front of the camera and be totally cool with it. Yeah. Like, I think that's... I mean, if you're trying to, like, get somewhere in the film business, it's better to just have, like, multiple aspects that you can right. be qualifiable to do, you know? Uh, we got... we got a fake blood on the ceiling. That's something <laughs> that happened. Fake lots, blood on the ceiling. Lots of it. Lots of fake blood. The, I, I guess you can tell the story best because it was being sh uh, angled up on your face. Well, yeah. I mean, I was, it was the part where I was meant to be, you know, finishing the guy off, and I'm just like supposed to be punching him or pay times, and the shot was them, right? You know, shooting up in my face, and then someone next to him was shooting up, you know, some fake blood. And I mean, obviously, it didn't hit me every time. I think Rory was shooting the blood. Yeah, up. he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. And he couldn't even. He, the thing is, he couldn't see through the eye of the camera either. Right. So he was just kind of like, all right, I'm just gonna hit Andre's face as many times as I can with this fake blood. You know, you're shooting at me, but then it hit me. A few times it went past my face, hit the, the dead cat, you know, the sound device. A few times it went even past that, hit the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like, in the shot, it was awesome. And then we looked up and we're like, dude, we just totally demolished oh, yeah. this room. And you say we're that. We're gonna a lot of money. You say that with like an air of calm. There was not an air of calm when it happened. Yeah, oh, it no. Was, when it so happened, it was, it was like, pissed. oh my god, oh my god. People we like running around. Well, the world. thing is, I was an actor, so I literally had yeah, my fun. You could just chill out. <laughs> I was yeah. like, hey, you guys, you did yeah, it. It was yeah, yeah. funny. But we all freaked out because, I mean, like, yeah, the, the dead cat, which is what you called, like, the little, like, like, I guess, like, the windscreen on, on top of, like, a, a large mic, uh, that was, like, stained pink. <laughs> um, so that was ruined. Uh, uh. And we had checked, that we didn't own that, we had checked that out, so we, were gonna, we had rented it. And then, um, yeah, the ceiling, the room we had rented, and the ceiling had just, like, you know, little sparkles of pink everywhere. And yeah, immediately everyone went to and we're like, yeah. we need to get bleach! We, I think we went out and bought people, some bleach. People bought bleach, people yeah. were like, I what if we just leave right now and don't tell did anyone? Did you buy bleach? No, no, I didn't, but I did a, most of the cleaning of it and ah, basically right realizing right. you couldn't get you can't it. get it out last year I didn't really know 
that much about you know different jobs on set. I had boom opt for the previous one, uh, obsolete. Obsolete, but um, you know I just learned a lot as AC and for the first half before we get to the fight, uh, there's a lot of like tripod stuff. So I mean I rack focus like like a few times, but I mean it, it was mostly very simple up until we went to do the like three dolly shots, and that was that was really cool. You know, because we had our own DIY like dolly with PVC pipes and then that. Yeah. Dude, just like, like a board. I think I totally like made part of that. <laughs> like with the like on tables. Yeah, it was, was, was it the same one we used? I think it was, yeah. It was Jonathan's dolly. Yeah. yeah that. um, That's awesome. But yeah, that was that was really cool because as the AC, I had to like push it and make sure that it's really steady. And I don't know, that's. I just like to do that. Um, but yeah, it's really tough. Uh, just because, you know. You get going and you're trying to do it as steady as possible and get to stop and then do it again. I actually heard um, an anecdote that I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that what, what David Lynch does, because he has a lot of dolly shots in his movies, what he does to make it natural is that he weighs down the dolly with like like thousand like over a thousand pounds, like sometimes even like a ton of weights. And then he so has I like he just you can barely push and he it. Has, like, it just keeps he so has like stuff. five guys and what they do is they have to like really put everything into it to push it and then they have to do everything they can to slow it down and like it's kind of crazy but apparently makes like the most makes beautiful dolly shots <laughs> so what I'm saying films. is next to for project yeah <laughs> we just need to put a word of weight on the dolly yeah exactly exactly and we'll put more weight on the dolly just we'll check out every sandbag and equipment check and yeah, just we'll have like 20 there. people just <laughs> doing a short film with the film club it's a lot more collaborative than yeah. most of the other projects I've helped out on. Yeah. This thing I love about this project, man, is you just get, like, I think the actual experience of being on a set that's yeah. Yeah. legitimate, having, like, mm -hmm. you know, that helps a lot. 15 people or so doing, they have a job. Right. They're responsible for doing right. that You learn so much. I mean, they tell you all that theory in classes, right. which is helpful. But you have to. But you have to do it. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it. Yeah. Like, to learn what's wrong. It's what's different right. talking about, like, what your 180 line is in theory. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, when you're looking at a book and then going on set and going, Pulling it off. what's our 180 line, you know? Because like, it's <laughs> not like to pull up one thing, it's not like, okay, I'm just gonna pull it off. Exactly. You have the actors pull it off. You gotta have the sound turn out the right way. You gotta have the shot right. You gotta have everything right. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and just like this. I love those projects. Capitalist in a form is awesome. Well, that's our episode of Capital Cineforum. We hope you learned something, you ignorant lame streamers. And if you have super smart films you want to show, email us at the address below. Hey, you want to go watch a graduate? What's that? I've never heard of it. Is it good? <laughs>